Woo. Oh, I'm one minute late. Right on time, kind of, though. And sorry, I had to delay the video by 15, 20 minutes. We did have to order a new washing machine, and the time frame, they said, was from 3 to 7 p.m. Just randomly, they'll call you and show up. So I'm so glad they just delivered it, and it's done. Okay, let's minimize this chat. Good afternoon. I got some good stuff today. If anybody's curious, there's best friend in your thread. Oh, hey, I forgot I was listening. Oh, really? Oh, that's so awesome. I got to take off my shoes, man. I'm so hot from this long sleeve shirt that I'm burning up. It's running back and forth. I caught you off guard. Hey, Bickers. Hello, Incense Shop. Did you mail my mail? I can't talk today. Did you mail my oils yet? My sample oils pickers? Did you? I should be here soon, right? Okay. I'll probably mention this piece a couple times. So if anybody can find any info on it, well, let me know. Let me flip this up. Ooh. I got this at the pound store and it's a uh, like hair extensions it's the machine so you can put professional hair extensions on it's pretty cool I thought it was pretty cool so I paid 75 cents a pound for that I'll show you all probably more towards the end of the video if we have any more viewers come in so I'll go over some little things first. <clears throat> Got my receipt on one of the hauls. This is actually two different hauls. One of them, I couldn't find a receipt on the other one, but one of these hauls cost me $23. And I, I do believe that this was in this $23 haul, which would tell me exactly what I paid for it, possibly, I believe. So textile, I got clothes at a dollar a pound. So $10 I spent on clothes. And then hard goods, it says 6.55 pounds at 75 cents. So that's $4.91. So either I spent $4.91 on this, so I'll have to weigh it, or I spent $5.89 on that box. One of the two. They're pretty close, right? Okay, cool. You're going to mail it out Saturday. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Uh, and I rounded up my total my uh, total to $0.48, cents, so it made it um, $23 or whatever. So that's the receipt part if you're interested how the pound store works. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Like five bucks, right? Five or six bucks, give or take. Second thing, I found this Christian Dior men's scarf. Now check it. I think they donated it because some of the embroidery, the strings are hanging out, but only very little. So you can't even tell where they're hanging out. So if I just trim them, this Christian Dior scarf would be good as new. And you know me, I like to take the, uh, like the, a lighter and just lightly singe anything that's left over and it like disappears. So there's Christian Dior men's tie. Here's the back. This is Monsieur, Monsieur. Hey, Halloween, uh, props and costumes. That's Harlan. Hello. So that was cool. I thought, I didn't even look up the comps on a Christian Dior scarf, but since he, he, I'm assuming Christian Dior is a man, I don't even freaking know. Um, it's a designer brand, so it was worth it. Um, these are for resale, and I did look up comps on eBay for this. These are really high quality. I did see 
one spot and I think it's paint or something like that. And I'm just going to trim off or scrape off as much as this paint I can get because it's like literally paint. Try to get off as much as I can. If not, I'll list the flaw on eBay. But I got them because they're adorable. They're really heavy velvet pillowcases, but they're big ones, like huge. And did I tell you yet? They're made by Ralph Lauren. And I saw a comp sell for like 30, 35 bucks. There it is. Um, I loved them because they're like uber soft and they're, what I say? Is it velvet? Yeah, I think it's velvet. Something like that. Reminds me of vampires. Maybe vampire would be more maroonish. I don't know, but it still reminds me of vampire blood or something. It's pretty classy. So the other one's in excellent condition. So again, one of them had like a little flaw on it. And it just, I went ahead and got them. <clears throat> I'm going to finish doing hard goods here because I don't have too many before I get into like shirts and stuff. I have too many and it'll go quick. So I looked this up on eBay as well. And check it out. It's got all the like patches back here. Sorry, I'm sitting by a window. It's the sun just came out too randomly and it's uber bright. Um, so $16.99 is the old vintage tag price tag on here. See that? But if you look on eBay, you guys, these things sell for a oh look, it's still sealed. I thought it had been opened. It's just over in a plastic. Had I taken this off, it would have been like 10 cents cheaper, Heather. Joking. Um, so I got that. Ready cut quilt pieces for the Lone Star quilt. There's that. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm trying to keep all this stuff separate. Let's see, I can tag people easier on my <clears throat> laptop. It just takes slows down the stream right. Carlin. He probably already bounced. Okay, so I got this little photograph, but it was so cute because I thought maybe I would change out the picture, but for some reason I love the picture. Can't remember where I've seen these at, some office or somewhere. But it's just like a more vintage -y, older style um, sign here. And I liked it anyways. It says, believe and succeed. Courage does not always roar. Sometimes it is a, qui it is a quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Oh, down there. Hopefully it doesn't get broke. Okay, next piece is fun. It reminds me of totally the green room with uh, the bearded picker and um, Scott with the um, bearded. I already said that. I met Harlan with Halloween props and costumes. All the guys scanning the barcodes. Did this one? This one I don't think scanned, but I just thought it was cool and I loved that it has the vintage Sony box. It is a Sony car disc man. <laughs> I never owned one of these. I've never even seen anybody have one of these. Have y'all? No clue. Model number D-822K. I did look it up. Um, I think they sold for like 30 bucks as well. It just, I don't know why I like to preserve history as well. <laughs> Sony history, right? Check it out, it has the whole box. So I paid 75 cents a pound for this. It's got everything, yeah, it's super old school. Oh, doesn't that go to a guitar or something? Does that go to? I've seen that before. I'll ask my hubby, he'll know. Oh, there's something else in here. What's back here? Another box. I didn't know that was back there. I hope the when I sell this, I hope the 
Fire recognizes that this is in here. I swear this goes that goes to a guitar, doesn't it? Or something, an amplifier. Oh look, it's got the um the cassette. No hippie barbecue. He has a channel. Oh, it's got the car charge up. He uh, has a channel where he barbecues. I don't watch it as much anymore because y'all know I don't eat red meat anymore. So when he does upload some shrimp or some seafood or desserts, I love to stop by. Or when he's live having a beer, that's fun too. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this right back where it went. Apparently it's never been used. Old school. Look, I got the remote and everything. So fun. Honestly, I don't think it's ever been used. Look, no fingerprints, nothing. Does this go with it? I thought that was, it looks like an amplifier thing. Maybe it does go with it. We'll just keep it in here. I don't know. So I got that, and it doesn't weigh a lot, so I paid, a, you know, a couple dollars for that. Does it come with that little gold piece? I don't think it does. Maybe. I'll have to look at it later. So I need to fix the bottom. Ooh, uh, okay, some more hard goods. I got my littlest one, a, a little reading book. It looked fun. Looks like it tried to sell in a garage sale for a dollar. Nobody bought it. Uh, great pages. And my little six-year-old, he's learning to read. So I thought this didn't seem too overwhelming to try to point to each word. Hello, Gina, Gina. Okay, so another thing that I'm happy to show you is I found these. Harlingen, <laughs> Harlingen, Harlan. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so I guess I have stuffed stuff inside these little tubs so that I wouldn't lose them because they're tiny pieces. Um, these sell at Hobby Lobby for like $1.99. I see this one's cracked here. That's okay. If you guys are new to my channel, you, um, I do have a lot of hauls where I have lots of little jewelry junk bags. So this is going to help keep it organized. So what do we have in here? So this was awesome. So I don't have to go and buy any more of these for $2. I paid 75 cents a pound for these at the Goodwill pound store. So here I found this ring, you guys, like a cheap box. Oh, look, it says 14 karat gold plated. It's okay. The reason why I got it is because it's vintage looking, I guess. Hey, David M. Let's see if it has it. Yeah, it's even engraved 14 karat. Hmm. You know what's crazy, you guys, is that they engraved it 14 karat, but they didn't stamp, like, there's no stamp saying, like, plated. Oh, this doesn't even go, this box doesn't go with the ring. This ring says it's amethyst, wait, I don't know. Maybe it goes with it, it doesn't. It says something about manu or mar sharp genuine amethyst band ring, 14 karat gold plated. I don't think that this box goes with the ring. Had I known that, I would have chunked this box and only got the ring, but I didn't want to lose the ring. So this would be uber cool, you guys, if this is really 14 karat gold. And I have a diamond tester, so let's bust her out and let's test it real quick. She's right here. She's right here. I'm all, please be a real diamond and pay for my boob job. I'm wearing a padded bra, so... Don't judge me. I'm still getting a boob job. Um, so here it is. Let's test it. It's got four diamonds. Come on, bring me some money. Is that like supposed to be onyx or something in there? That would be cool, right? All right. 
This was less than $10 on eBay, if anyone's interested in a diamond testa. And I will show you the before and after. You like that, Harlan? Okay, so you turn it on. <clears throat> yeah, at the boob job. I'm totally, you probably missed my stream, Hippie, unless you did see the notification. I'm totally getting a boob job Tuesday. So my wedding ring is a real diamond. It goes all the way to the red. FYI, I don't know why I like to tell people this, but I got my wedding ring at a pawn shop. So it's a uh, white gold or whatever you call it. I really don't know. So now we're going to test this diamond. And I really don't get my hopes up on diamonds. Like they're so rare to find, right? Yeah, it's, it's not going. What? Why did it take so long? Hook it up, right? Why did it take so long, you guys? I'm trying, if you touch the gold, it makes it go off like a real diamond. So it's very hard to tell with such a small stone. It's like I need a smaller point. Ready? Yeah, no. Look at that one's a no. Yeah, I bet I moved and I touched the gold. That's probably what happened. We'll try all four. I'm touching the gold. Yeah, they're not real stones. That's what I thought. So that's okay, because right, it's standard 14 karat gold. I have a gold tester. Flippin' Hustler is gonna kill me. It's like, you still didn't do your gold acid testing. Well, maybe we'll go live after this one. I gotta go get Tucker though from school real quick after this video. Well, that was interesting. I'm happy we have a diamond tester. Now I just got a test that it's stamped 14 karat gold. Y'all want to see? Let me see if I can show you. Um, mm, 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 mm. Get my face out of there. You can't see it, can you? It says 14 karat. That's awesome. Can I put it on my thumb? No, don't lose it, Heather. Let's put it in here. Oh, I just broke the plastic box. My bad. Okay, we'll set that there. Hey, you guys, so since we have a couple people, I did get this cool um, hair extension. Like, it's a professional hair extension kit. And I looked on eBay, and I don't know, does it mean that it's not allowed and it's, it's not allowed to sell on eBay if there's no one selling it? Why can't I find anybody selling this on eBay? So it's a hair extension machine. Looks brand new. Like literally the hair extension equipment, you guys. No hippie barbecue might know about this because he's got a daughter with some curly hair. Um, so what I got here is, ooh, what is that? those thingies, the power cord, um, oh, we got some other stuff, extension, something, oh, what is this, is that a belt that goes, this belt does not belong with this box, but guess what, I didn't put that in there, but it says it's made in Italy, that's cool, Oh man, that smells like some real leather. Does this go with this? There's no way. <laughs> this is a human waist belt, correct? Her hair is natural. Well, I know, but now all the, that's true. She doesn't need extensions. All the girls are adding extensions nowadays. So anyways, um, Lots of people. Yeah, she does have really beautiful. The belt is some kinky. I know. I don't know why it's in this box, but it smells like some really good leather. Oh my gosh. This smells like a brand new pair of leather boots. That is insane. They kept it fresh. So, oh, there's my husband. I think he's here to install the washing machine, maybe. So, anyways, it has the box. 
Oh, maybe we should plug it in and see if it works. Maybe it's broke. Is that what's the problem? Guys, it's like brand new. Uh, now we just need the mask. <laughs> You're funny. You already had your cerveza this afternoon, haven't you? I'm crying over here, you guys. Hold up. This cord is like barely doing anything. Well, look at that. It says it's made in Italy. So is the belt. What did it do? Come with a free belt? What the heck? We got out at four. Okay. He's going to have to wait. Well, if the gold if the gold ring don't bring me some money, I have a feeling this one might. Unless it just doesn't turn on, you know. Oh, the power button's back here. Look at that. Hey eBay. I got a bid on Mario Kart. That's not surprising. So it's welcome in it's going too fast. Oh, you can set the heat. Anyways. That is pretty awesome. I didn't care how much it weighed. I thought, wow, this is a hair extension machine. And I know a lot of girls are obsessed with adding length to their hair. So I went ahead and got that. All right. Hey, Casey. Oh, greetings from Virginia Beach. Down here for the meetup with Thrifty Dad. Now, okay, I'm already caught up. It's a holster for your hair gun. Your wife, your ex-wife was a hairdresser, was she? No. Was she, Harlan? I can't remember. So, okay, if y'all haven't heard me talk about Littlest Pet Shop toys, these things sell for a oh, good money. This is a newer one because it's hollow and um, there's no pink in the feet. The ones with the pink are usually more rare. Uh, this is a little a pet shop accessory. I just, I collect them to sell them in bulk or something. And then how could I not resist this copper, tiny, vintage little um, kitchen thingy pitcher? So that was cool. That was my duplicate text reminder. So that's what's in this box. Come on. Close. And then is this one empty? Yeah, this one's empty. However, I'm going to put... No, I won't put them in there. I found these two gem rocks, you guys. They're both glass. So I went ahead and got them. One's a pin. I don't really even know what they are. So I just thought they were interesting to learn or whatever. It's a brooch pin. This one's a necklace one, and it is a glass stone. I don't know what either one of them are. How long are you going to be in Virginia Beach, Casey? Oh, my gosh. I did not see the title. You're drinking now, no hippie. I didn't see the title of tonight's show. What is it? I'll be home. Okay, last of hard goods, you guys. I'm almost done. So I wanted to look up this vintage mirror, but I really had to go. I got a text, and I thought the washer was coming yesterday, and silly me, I freaked out. and was like, oh, I got to go home. But the text really said Friday, so whatever. My mind's been just beside me lately. Can't get boobs off my mind, right? So I loved it. It's like a vintage mirror. I... Honestly, I wanted to throw this back, but I just felt like it has potential or I've done solds videos and I saw that they sold good, but don't quote me on that. Um, this one needs to be tightened up really bad, but everything about it screams vintage and I had to get it and it's super heavy. <clears throat> Are you going to tell us what the title says? Uh, the beard picker. No, really? Is that what it says? Oh my God. Okay. Uh, two more hard goods. 
a lady had a lady or a guy I think it was a guy had this in his hand and I said oh are you gonna get that and he was like no and I was like well I want it I learned recently Leo August birthdays apparently we like things maybe we like pretty things I don't know but I just love little or big like diamonds like this just to sit on a table kind of like a paperweight I used to have a clear one and my kids kept dropping it and they broke it so that was awesome. I got another one. And for some reason, I got this vintage 25 yard. It's really a nice cotton, uh, miss, is that mistletoe kind of thingy? I got this um, huge section of this. Why? I have no idea because I don't really sell fabric, but I want to sell that piece because it's really nice. Okay, I want to show you guys the funnest pieces of clothing first or the best section first. Those are usually on my mind too. I know, right? All right. I ain't even gonna lie. Like they are pretty to look at in some, and it depends on the time. You know what I mean? There's a time and a place for it always. And doing it all the time is not always cool, but yeah, whatever. Anyways, moving along. We're not gonna go about that in this video. Okay, real quick, I got a little vintage child's bonnet. I have a few vintage little baby clothes that I am struggling to get on eBay, but I will, guarantee you, I will. And then I have a couple of these doilies, doilies. They're more of like a vintage table placemat. We did research on eBay and YouTube Live, where if you have a couple of these, some of them can sell pretty decent. So on the clothes, I pay a dollar a pound. So that was weighed with clothes. I shouldn't have got this. Contemplated on it a couple times. It's by the Flying Tomato, which is a higher Mullen brand. But some women are really goo goo gaga over the crochet. I've sold a couple a couple years ago. So I just, I don't know why I could have throw that one back. Okay. So on to the boobs. I think that, like, I feel like every time I go to the pound store, if there's something I really need and you're looking for it, you'll find it. Like Harlan talked about a, Harlan, not Harlan, the bearded picker and Harlan actually, talked about these little mini games or things that you play with this game. They were like, yeah, you find them all the time. Lo and behold, that same next week after I heard them talk about it and I Googled it, I found one. So again, as some of you may know, I'm gonna have breast implants on Tuesday. So you have to have bras that zip in the front. So I found this cool like swimsuit piece, but I think that uh, you need a lot of support at first while you're healing. So I think I won't use this for swimming. I'll use it around the house, obviously, because it's like going to show my mommy belly. It's like a crop top or, you know, I'll wear it while I'm recovering, whatever. Um, so it zips completely down the front. These are freaking awesome. I was happy that I found that because I won't be able to lift my arms up really high, you guys, to put on shirts. Um, so these zippers, I'll probably barely be able to like, you know, like just trying to throw this over here, it seems like it's going to be really hard. I'm going to have to have someone help dress me for the uh, couple days. So I got that one. This one is uber vintage, but I have another vintage one. So I was so happy when I came across this one as well. So vintage. It's a Pro Spirit brand. What size is this? It's a medium. I don't know if it's going to fit my my size we'll see i don't know so i went ahead and risked it risked it right and then this one it's gonna show up really ugly on the camera just because it kind of looks ugly in person and um it even has like a deodorant stain on it this one is uber vintage but i could just see some cute boobies in this crop top it needs to be washed you guys but i loved it it's so vintage the next vintage piece that I have is this ugly poofy shirt. Sweater, shirt sweater. Oh my gosh, it has pockets. It literally has pockets. Hey Redmond, 
when you find an old washed tissue in the sweater. Yuck. I, <laughs> I loved your comment. Those are usually on my mind too. So poofy, it's got a couple threads that I'm going to pull in through the other side. So like inside it out, whatever, and pull like this thread here sticking out. I'm going to pull it through <clears throat> so you can't notice it. This one has a vintage tag of Beldoch, Beldoch Popper, acrylic and wool. It's made in Taiwan. Taiwan. There's that. Hey, uniquely me, Tracy. Man, David and the car boot bot boot picker he's on top of it okay do, do, do. okay so that's most of all the vintage i have like two men's vintage shirts here's another bra thingy that i got lucky again i knew i thought i was gonna possibly have a uh, boob job so i mean i'm telling you look how do you find three front zipped um, pieces while you're shopping, right? So this one also looks a little tight, but again, it zips in the front. David is the best. Oh, uh, oh, there's the brand. I was hoping this was Spanx, but I don't know because it doesn't say. It has RN number one one seven one five three. Speaking of Spanx. There's that. So I got that to see if I might need that. I'll need to wash it. And I have a Spanx bra here. But I realized that um, I won't be able to fit this, and I'm not probably going to because I'll have a scar from obviously having surgery. This has got underwire, and I probably won't be able to wear underwire. But, oh, my gosh, you guys, I found this bra brand new at a thrift store for $3, one that didn't have a wire. It's a Spanx bra, and it's called Bra You guys, they sell these clothes for like $150 for a pair of pants. Um, and, okay, quick story on this. My bra that I loved that I bought for $3, I'm not one of those women that throw my lingerie in one of those lingerie bags. I just throw it in the washer. Apparently Spanx has got crappy fabric and when I washed it like three different three times after I had used it a couple times It got caught on something and ripped all the fabric on the Spanx So I was I'm a little scared to buy Spanx anymore, but I did get a Laundry bag, so I'm trying to start to wash my bras in a laundry bag Apparently I didn't know you're not supposed to I mean I knew you're supposed to use a laundry bag um but I never did. So I literally, I'm 35 and I bought my first laundry, lingerie bag, like last month. The booby day is Tuesday. I'm getting gummy breast implants. They're like compared to gummy bears. Pretty weird, right? Okay. <clears throat> Trying to hurry on this so it's not like a two hour video on a haul, right? So I don't get that excited about free people anymore because I've sold a piece today that sat for like a year and it took an offer of $6 on it. Um, but this is a sweater, so I know it'll sell. So I'm a little excited about this. Oh, okay. So my son said he needed to be picked up and now he says no. Okay, he can play for a minute. You wash mine in a pillowcase with a scrunchie. See, and the lady at the checkout was like, well, they're only like $6. So I was like, oh, my God, Heather, stop being cheap and just spend the $6 on a laundry bag, right? Jeez. So I did. I bought a laundry bag. It's just a mesh zip bag, so I don't have to use a scrunchie or a freaking pillowcase. But that's a good idea, junk trader. I just don't see how putting it in a bag is going to protect it, but... It would, so it doesn't snag on the zippers and stuff like that. So cool. This is a free people, size small, even though they run oversized. So this is more like a medium to large, maybe. Oh, look, it's, it's oh, I thought it was damaged. It's not. Okay, good. Well, yeah, it is kind of damaged. 
but I don't think the uh, buyer will care. I'll just take a picture that it's kind of pulled right there a little, right? Sort of. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I can probably actually fix that myself, but I don't know. I'm not really into fixing shit lately. Just list it and move on, people. I got too much stuff to be fixing stuff anymore. BCBG Maxaria, I do not pick up this brand very often unless it's just an amazing piece. This just seemed really kind of sexy and flattering, and it's embroidered. It's got a nice V-cut here, and then I just, all the detail made me have to get it. So I did. <clears throat> Most of you may know I always pick up white clothing. So here's a Gap extra large women's dress. I'll pick it up as long as it's not, you know, a tiny little, I'll pick it up. It has a tiny stain, but not if it's like half stained up. I always pick up beautiful cotton crochet pieces like this. It's rare to find an extra large like this, so that's uber cool. Um, reason why you guys haven't also seen me do any hauls lately is because, as you can see, this stuff adds up, and I get really stressed out when I have too much stuff. And if anyone's wondering, yes, I burned myself with a curling iron. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have all this jewelry, and I've been trying to focus on the jewelry, and that is a lot in itself. So again, it's, I don't have time to list all the, this stuff that I'm showing you guys. So that's why you haven't been seeing me shop lately as much. So this was clearly at a Goodwill store and nobody bought it. So they pushed it to the pound store, the Goodwill outlet bins. Should have looked up the brand and I didn't. It's called Nightway. It's a plus size to me. It's 14 and it, it's, um, strapless which most women have a hard time with strapless and sleeveless um, when we're older but it's got this adorable ruffle and I, I love purple so it's so hard to find purple pieces that are pretty so I got that one of course got another purple piece that seemed really heavy and expensive so it was just laundry by Shelly Siegel Los Angeles, size 14. Looks like a clubbing dress. Mini clubbing dress, whatever. <clears throat> We're almost done. You wash my plush like that too. Good idea. I sell on Facebook Marketplace and another local app called Schwock, big UK selling app. Oh, I only sell one to two items a month on local apps as I have a full-time job, but I enjoy doing it. Good to know. Oh. Okay. This was a cute one, and mostly I got it. I find a lot of billabong at my thrift store, but the resale isn't as high but this is a medium, and y'all know, if you know what's in style, you know that this cross-stitching here is like number one right now, or number two, whatever you want to call it. It's going to show off that boob job, too. Can you tell? It's perfect for that cleavage line. Okay, okay. Two vintage pieces here. This one I noticed while I was unloading the car, it does need to be stitched up right here. Easy fix, you guys. Someone will have no problem fixing that. And I actually do sell stuff like this on Poshmark with flaws and people will fix it. Don't discredit that people don't know how to sew because they do. People do still own sewing machines. So this has padding. Um, it's also the... Um, Oh, what do you call this? The uh, rust color, kind of. I'm not sure if y'all are. Hey, it's more darker in this color. But it's a rust chiffon-like vintage. It stinks like an old lady. Um, just a dress. So I 
I thought that was really cute and it's not that heavy. So I went ahead and got it. Oh, this isn't vintage, but I thought it was. So it was also at the pound or the Goodwill thrift store hanging up, but nobody bought it. So they pushed it to the pound store. And I looked this up, this brand on Poshmark actually sells really high, kind of. So what is it, listicle? Um, it's like a summer dress. What is that, smocked? That's a new word that I learned. I used to wear this when I was a little girl. And I never wear this not having a boob job, but I, like this is one of my least favorite fabrics on not having boobs. Like, look at this. There's no padding in here. So if I were to wear this, I would like not feel confident in it. But I feel like if I, you know, you do have cleavage and you do have boobs, like look how much coverage there is to put on a nice, um, a nice rack or whatever. It's got all that extra coverage. So this would look really good. So I'm wearing a bra. Um, so on this kind of dress, you really can't wear a bra. You know what I mean? Unless you wore a, um, what do you call it? Strapless bra, which those fall down a lot and you have to like keep pushing it up a lot. So whatever. This actually feels brand new, but it's like a freaking really long maxi kind of like dress. Okay. A couple more pieces, you guys. Here's two um, Wrangler Western shirts. This one's a 2X something, and it's pearl snap, so I had to get that one. I think I saw on eBay some of these Wranglers. I don't know if I have one but or what is selling them the best, but some of these freaking Wranglers are very highly desired, and they sell for good money. Okay, so there's that one. This one is also pearl snap. Yeah, so I got both of them. I think they came from the same man. All right, so we got one, two, three, four more pieces. This one is a lower end brand, just a mall brand, Bongo, like sold at like Sears or JCPenney's or something, uh, medium, but it's cool. It's a shirt right here. It's a shirt, muscle shirt. Oh, it's cool. It's got a V cut. It's black, by the way. And then it's got a long like that kimono kind of, so it covers the butt for sure and almost hangs to the ground. So it was a very unique piece and it kind of stinks like it needs to be washed, but whatever. Okay, this piece, I actually literally almost threw it back. I mean, it kind of looked like a basic shirt, but then I could tell when I like grabbed it and was feeling around on it that it seems a little thick and a good quality. So, oh, my nose is itching. So I reached down to get into this tag and you can't even see it because it's all folded. Well, most of you, if you're resellers that do clothes, you probably will already guess the brand, Athleta. Their tag isn't very flat, right? Gonna be hard to take pictures of that. So talk about slowing a seller down. So after I kept looking at it, I was like, wow, this is really nice. I would actually wear this wine purple color that I'm keeping. Maybe. We'll try it on, see if I like it. <laughs> okay, two pieces. This thing is like a bright fuchsia pink. It's not pulling up in the video. But for some reason I thought to myself, like, oh Heather, you would look so good in these. They're a size 12, which might be a little too big for me. I fit anywhere from like a 10, 11, some 12s, depending on the brand. Blue jeans, for sure I wear a 12, I think. But anyways, they were kind of like skinny. I was like, oh my God, Heather, you do not wear like slacks that are pink like this. So bold and cray cray. But um, I don't know. I'll try them on and see what they look like. They're not spandex waist either. And then I'm not sure if there's something wrong here. I might steam it. I'm gonna have to steam these. They might've just been hanging up like that somehow to where they're kind of 
messed up right there. I don't know. Okay, you guys, last piece is not exciting at all. I meant to look up this brand, and I didn't. I was in a hurry. It just looked really cute with the ruffles, very modest and classy. Um, it does have a little bit of fading, as y'all can see in the video. But the worst part about it is, is I did not see the tiny little hole. Adorable shirt with a hole. So, like, I'm not even sure I would ever wear it because of the hole, but I feel like I want to at least try to wear this myself and see how bad it looks. I don't know. It's just such a cute shirt that I got it, and, again, I didn't see the hole. So, oh, my gosh. You guys have no idea how much better I feel now that that haul's done. <clears throat> I don't know much about clothes as I normally buy electronics or board games at my car boot sales flea market. But I heard that Posh, Poshmark is going international and they have opened up an office. Who told you that? I haven't heard anything, but I don't know. In Canada, I can't wait for them to ship to Canada. They don't stay up if you have big ones. You mean like with fake ones or with real ones? Because you're exactly right on the, the real ones. They don't stay up if you have big ones. I know, that's also like, I'm like, I don't want these big honkers. And then if they were to drop, that wouldn't be pleasant. Hey, Hickory Springs. Pretty lady, you're so sweet. Ooh, I'm done with the haul. So yeah, last thing, I did just wanted to mention this thing like two or three times. Yes, Pasha is starting a Canada market in January. Where did you get the information? Is it on their website? <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh, do you think maybe it was announced at the Posh Fest? I bet that's what it is. Posh has to go to Canada. Why wouldn't you? When I started selling on eBay 10 years ago or something like that, um, when I would ship to Canada, it was only like two or three more dollars. Thrifty Flamingo, you heard it from her? Because did she go? Real ones don't know about the others. No, they do stay up if you uh, wear supportive bras while you're healing. Um, but of course, you have to go back and like some people have to go back like after I think 10 years or something and you can get them lifted or something, Casey. Someone said it on another chat. <laughs> I heard it through the grapevine. Well, thanks for telling me, you guys. I haven't been on either one of those streams to hear anything about that. Philly fan. Philly fan, are you the employee at Goodwill? That kind of creeps me out sometimes because you keep looking at me. He, the Goodwill employee at the pound store was asking me for my YouTube channel. Is that who you are, Philly fan? Uh, as long as they don't let China sellers ruin it for us, no, they won't do that. I can guarantee you that we won't go to China anytime soon. But the whole, like, Canada? Oh, yeah. And then if we could ship to Kentucky like eBay does? Yes. Because if you ship to China, it doesn't go to Kentucky, does it? Or does it? I don't know. I never sell to China people. I buy from China sellers, but I never ship to China. This is, hi, how are you? This is Josh. Yes. Oh, okay. He's got a slow delay. We are good, Josh. Thank you for asking. Philly fan, 1532 bird gang. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say, I forgot to tell y'all. The hair extension machine. Has anyone seen this thing? Is it banned? Is it not allowed on eBay? Because I don't see anybody selling it. 
Oh no. Your two boys had wisdom teeth removed today. Oh my gosh. Uh, I actually got my wisdom teeth removed and I found out I was pregnant like two weeks later. Or like two or three weeks later or something like it was actually like two weeks later. Luckily everything went fine. Wow. And it was so sweet. My parents don't have much money. <clears throat> but somehow my stepdad had inherited some money from some family and I had no money and my wisdom teeth uh, had to be pulled. And I mean, I guess I could have applied for a care credit card, but I don't know if I would have got approved it. I was like 18 or something when that happened. And like I said, look, luckily, I mean, God, I given my parent, my stepdad that money and he paid for it for me. I'll never forget that. How sweet it was that we had money to do that. If not, I would have had to put it on a teenager credit card or something. Like I said, I don't know if they would have given me one. <laughs> um, okay, sorry. Hair extension machine. I plugged it in. Um, it seems like it's all brand new. If anybody knows anything about this or am I, I mean, I looked up the exact brand Technica hair extension on eBay, hair extension technique with a Q-U-E, and I can't find anything on this bad boy. It's like brand new. Maybe I need to put so cap on there. Maybe that's why I think, yeah. Yeah, he did. My, I was, um, <laughs> I have a brother and a sister, but I was my stepdad's favorite. So he would have paid, he would have paid for any of the kids, but my stepdad, he would never have refused to help me. He, he's a good stepdad for the most part. <laughs> uh, so what is that hair extension machine? I mean, I guess it just adds it like she's got orange here and blue and white over here. Melter machines. Yeah, but I couldn't find any comps. I got it for 75 cents a pound. The box is all jacked up, but the machine itself seems like it's brand new. We plugged it in at the beginning, beginning of this video and look, it's not dirty or anything. I think the handprints are for all from me. <laughs> Um, I don't know. And the funniest part is that the guys, the guys at the beginning of the video were like, oh, that's kinky. I don't understand what the heck this belt is. I was like, huh, what is this belt? Does this belt just go to someone's waist or something? And I was like, oh, it just got put in the wrong box. It's a made in Italy. And then I realized this is made in Italy as well. So it goes together. But it is so brand new, you guys. Like from this far, all I smell is leather. This is like, it reminds me of like a man doing like, I don't know, I found a bundle of like craft leather. Someone would stamp leather. This just reminds me of it. Someone who's making brand new leather or something. It's so weird. It smells amazing. So it's brand new. It helps crimp and secure the extension. Your friend owns a salon. I just wish I knew how much they go for. I'm really done here with the video, you guys. Let me see if we can find it real quick. So cap, so dot, cap, when I type it all in, I just get extensions. So it's hard for me to tell if eBay won't let me sell the machine. No, there's one. Not the same machine. Okay, I was not typing in the right word. There it is. I was typing in, um, I thought the brand was Technica Hair Extension. I think, but I needed to type in the sew.cap. So I was typing in all this hair extension technique. So that's what I think I fixed my own problem. So that'll be fun. Does anybody know how you would ship it?
if I were to list this on eBay, I should probably sell it local. Event, if anything, look, they wanted fifteen dollars for it at I don't know a garage sale or a Goodwill or something. Not sure. Okay, that's about it. Um, the only other video I have coming this weekend that I can think of off the top of my head is going to be a jewelry if I get any this weekend. Yeah, so I'll go I'll go Saturday and I'll try to get some jewelry bags. And then as most of you know, Tuesday I'll have surgery, so I probably won't go live too much at all. I'll probably be like highly medicated and a lot of pain. Um in a box. I want to ship the box <laughs> in a box. No, I meant like would you do FedEx, UPS? Would you do pirate ship? Would you do it straight through eBay, USPS? I know I shipped a shoe box the other day and it was cheaper than a padded flat rate. A big fault. Great. Thank you, Tracy. <clears throat> yeah, that's all. That's my only question. Thanks for hanging out with me with my haul. And that's it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'm like, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> I'm being a smart ass. I thought you said I was a smart ass and I was like, wait, what? She said, I'm being a smart ass. Okay. <laughs> Bye guys. And thanks so far for no one giving me any shit or any um, hell in the comments about me getting my boobs done next week. I'm sure some of you are thinking it and you haven't commented on it yet. But anyway, so far, thanks to everyone who's been nice and supportive of, of it so far. So have a great weekend and we'll possibly see you guys Saturday, depending on if I get some jewelry bags. Peace out. Have a good weekend. Bye, pickers.